ADB. The power and how useful it is I already showed you in this video. But the problem is that I use wireless debugging to connect via ADB. And if you don't know what is wireless debugging, then it is a feature in Android 11 or greater that allows to connect to ADB over Wi-Fi without any need of USB. So if you are using Android 11 or greater, then great, that's good. But what about who are using Android 10 or lower? So don't worry, this video is for you. So for those of you who have PC, you can just use that to use ADB. But for those who don't have, then you will need two mobile phones. Now don't say that you don't have. Yeah, I can agree that you only have one phone. Then you can use phone of your brother, sister, friend or anyone as you need another phone only for 2 minutes. And of course you will also need a USB and OTG cable. So once you have that, just go to play store and download this app, open it, agree. Now go to another phone settings, scroll down and click on about phone. Now go all the way to bottom and click 7 times or boot number and this will enable developer options. Now this step can differ in different phones so you can google it according to your phone. Now go back and click on system, developer option and here we need this USB debugging. Just enable that. Now connect both phones via USB and OTG. Now go to the phone where you downloaded the app and if device doesn't show here just click on these icons and refresh ADB server. Click on OK and it will ask for permission on another phone so just allow that and now the device is connected now to access it in termux just click on connect to wi-fi and it will again ask for permission so just allow that now we need this device ip address so just click on get device ip address and it's here just note that and now you can remove the usb cable then go to termux and update your repos and install ADB. Now just execute ADB connect device IP address colon double five double five. And now if I execute ADB devices and it's here, our device is connected. Now you can execute ADB shell to get into your device ADB shell. And if you want to explore the more powerful use of ADB, watch these videos. And if you can like and subscribe the channel, then it will make me to create more videos like this.